Yo, what's up, my dudes? I will have a model wife. Yo, bitch, she's as hot as ice. <laughs> so, Triple Crown Racing in Supercross sucks. Oh, what, Spencer? No way. Why can you say that? Oh, my God, bro. Oh, no. I'm going to dislike this video. You're such a bad dude. You're terrible. Oh, my gosh. Like, uh, okay. Just give me a second to explain myself as to why I don't like it. All right. I know a lot of you guys out there like the whole new Triple Crown Supercross racing thing. I know it's all exciting, and I can agree with you to a certain, a certain extent that it is exciting. It is something different, but there's a lot of like bigger reasons as to why I don't really like the whole Triple Crown racing idea, specifically in Supercross the championship you know what i'm saying like that's where i don't like it you can put it in anything else you can put it like standalone you know it comes basically from the monster cup um i think it's just fine there i think it's great there i have no problem with it in itself i have a problem with it in the actual supercross racing series so i wanted to clear that up right there but i know some of you guys are gonna get that idea like oh Spencer, quit whining about it quit crying about it just come on dude like not that big of a deal, but I honestly think it is a bigger deal, okay? And this is why. So, for as long as I can remember, Supercross has always been a very, very similar and specific kind of way that you qualify in for it and the way that you actually get your points paid out to you. You know, going to one main event race which is typically a pretty long race to really test the riders, and that's how you actually get your points for the championship. Like I said, it's been that way ever since I can remember. It's been that way all the way back since I've even gotten into motocross, and even before then, before I've even gotten into motocross, it was like that. Um, now, sometimes they do shorten the laps a little bit in the main events in certain occasions, pretty rare when they do that, but sometimes it gets so damn muddy they have to cut some laps off of it or something like that. But typically, that's how you actually get your points for the championship and how you actually get quote unquote race wins. You have to win that main event. You have to. There's no other way to do it. You can be the fastest qualifier in the world. You can be. When your heat race by 30 seconds, it does not matter if you do not win that main event. That is the actual race. So what that does with the main events being so long is it creates this very difficult task to actually win a main event. And this very like sought after type of thing because of how hard it is to actually win it because of how long the race is. You know, you can't just have some random dude over here that's fast but has no no sort of physical ability no sort of stamina you know he can't handle 20 laps worth of racing um and he's not going to be able to win a main event you know it truly is the separator of the men from the boys okay so that's why i don't like this whole triple crown thing because it totally changes every bit of that so Basically, now you're giving this ability to people that wouldn't normally win the ability to win. I, I just, I don't like when they actually change the core structure of how you actually win races and, um, you know, get your points. I don't like that because it jacks up the entire history of everything. It jacks up everything about it when you actually think about that. Because now you've got people that would never have normally won a race out here winning triple crown races and a lot of times that's the way it is you know it's those really really hardcore fast dudes when it comes main event time one of those guys is going to win and it, it and it sets this sort of precedence you know it sets this sort of like bar on how good you have to be to actually be able to say you've won a main event you get what i'm saying but now with the old triple crown thing it's a it's a lot shorter races so it's basically like a three moto format with shorter races even though the last third race is a little bit longer still yet it's basically giving you the ability to to uh win like a quote-unquote main event once you add up all the points of the three races without actually having to win a 20 minute or a 20 lap long main event race so you're basically able to win a, a, a race without actually winning a main event you understand what i'm saying so you're able to do something that you were never normally 
able to do beforehand. Now, I know they went to the whole, it used to be 20 laps, everything used to be laps, now it's minutes. But even th even with that, um, you know, going from uh, 20 laps to 20 minutes plus a lap, I think it is now, that is still plenty of time. Like, I have no problem with that, the 20 minute plus one lap um, for the 450 class. Like, I think that's perfect. Um, right around that 20 lap, uh, you know, if you go any f any more than that, then you're going to have to start getting bigger, uh, you know, fuel tanks on the bike. It's going to get ridiculous. So, but I think it at least needs to be that 20 lap or 20 minute plus one lap for it to actually be the main event supercross race to say you won a race or say that you, um, you know, got a podium or whatever. I, I just don't like how they're changing the core of it. That's my whole issue with it. I'm not even really mad at, like, the Triple Crown in itself. I think it's great at the Monster Cup. I think it's exciting, fun to watch. But I just don't like it in the standard Supercross championship. I just think it just doesn't belong. I think that's something they kind of just threw in there to try to make some little bit more random excitement. And some people that don't really understand Supercross, they're going to look at it like it's, oh, great, it's the Triple Crown race tonight. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so exciting, something different. But it's like, dog, like we've had how many years of no Triple Crown racing at all in Supercross, and it's been just fine. It's been great racing. I like, I, I mean, I think when you build such a, a bar and a level and what it, what it takes to actually win a race, you never want to change that win a main event, let me clarify, not, you know, you could win a heat race all day long, but it's not like winning a main event, and I can even go as far as to say, you know, I would feel weird, let's just say if I was in Brayton's shoes, or if I, like, my first RF win on MX Simulator was on a triple crown race, I would feel like I didn't even really earn it, because it's, did you really win a real main event race? No, now there's this whole confusion here, right? Now people can say they won a race even when they've only won one main event uh, of a triple crown race, which is some of those are as short as a heat race. And you could say you technically won like a main event race, but it's not. And even if you win the overall of a triple crown race, it's still not the same as winning an actual 20 minute plus one lap or 20 lap main event in a supercross uh, race. I just don't feel like it's even the same. I, I just cannot believe Feld and those dudes would even think about doing something like this. I, I just can't believe that would even be even remotely in their minds because now you've got all these people that are first time winners, first time winners, first time winners, and they would have never have won had it not been for Triple Crown. They never would have won. So it's like I hate when they do that where it's like they're they, they make the actual core of the racing entirely different. And what it, see, I don't care, basically, I don't care what they do outside of how you actually get the points and how you actually get that win, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? If they want to do whatever else, else outside of that, add a few more gates, take off a couple gates, do semis or not semis or whatever. Like, that's all just kind of side, doesn't really make that big of a difference, you know? But when you change the actual core, of how you get your points and how you get a win, like drastically, you know what I'm saying? Three short main events is totally different than a a 20 lap true Supercross main event. That's totally different. So it, it almost creates this system of like you look at it more like someone won a Triple Crown main event overall, and that's almost completely separate from a normal Supercross. 20 lap race main event win it's it's almost like you would have to separate that entirely in the history books because it doesn't make sense to to put that just together with all those people that actually had to work hard to win a real 20 minute plus one lap main event or a real 20 lap main event you know i feel like it's just such a disgrace to those people that actually did win that and then now you can just hop in there and do semi sort of okay good in three short main events, you know, three short little heat race style main events, and you can call yourself a Supercross main event winner. It, it just makes no sense to me. So that's why I don't like the whole Triple Crown thing. Um, I, personally, I think it was a really bad idea to put that in the actual Supercross. And of course, with MX Simulator, it's not their fault. They're just doing what the real life racing is doing. So it's, it's 
entirely on the real life field racing uh crew and all that on that like what what are you guys trying to do like good god like you they're trying to make it more exciting and more crazy but like man you're messing up your entire your entire what what it means to win an actual main event you're screwing every bit of that up and some people that don't understand that all i have to say to you is you just don't really understand supercross if you don't understand that in my opinion um personally i mean that's just where i'm at on that so either way it's uh it's unfortunate that it's kind of turned into that but it is what it is and uh you know i just hope that in the future see i thought that they had had that learned i thought they had had that figured out you know they'd go between semis heat races um you know semis no semis 450 class 20 minute plus one lap or 20 laps you know they kind of like danced around all these different rules the past like decade or so they've done all this different stuff but one thing they've never jacked around with was basically the length and how you actually win a main event you know until just here recently with the whole triple crown thing i I just cannot believe it because it's such a separating separate the men from the boys kind of thing whenever you've got a long race like that you know there's so many times that um other people could have won had you cut off the last five laps of a race like there's so many times your mid-tier guys could have won way more but they don't because there's those five extra laps you know there's that long main event race and it makes it to where the truest of the true win only the baddest of the bad win only you gotta have the stamina you gotta have the fitness you gotta have the speed you gotta have every aspect of it but now with the triple crown crap all you got to do is have a little bit of speed and a good start, and that's about it. You don't even really have to have any stamina or anything. Maybe slightly in the last triple crown, you know, the third race of it, but other than that, it's just a damn heat race. Think about how many people have won heat races. Like, everybody and their grandmothers won a heat race, you know? But it's like very, very few and far between people actually win true main events. But now it's like heat race heroes can win main events. And I hate that. So anyways, that's my take on it. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, personally, I, I just don't like when they change the actual final battle. You know, the final, what, what pays the points out, what, uh, how you actually get a race win. I don't think that should ever be changed from 20 laps around that, you know, really close to that 20 lap kind of racing. And uh, basically, that's where I'm at on it. So either way, guys, just wanted to get my own little opinion about the old Triple Crown thing. Uh, not the biggest fan, and I haven't been the biggest fan of it from the get-go um ever since they first started doing it like last year or whenever that was i, I was I, I was all kind of twisted up on it even back then um i just think it's pointless like there's no real point in having triple crown racing it just i, I don't i don't see the the point to it i don't see the the uh the real need for it it just really doesn't make it does more harm than it does good in my opinion so either way appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes